I'm back with another wireless headphone review. This time it's the one sent to me by Monoprice and this is their BT600 ANC. And so recently I've reviewed two other headphones, one from Soundcore and it's their Life Q30s that came in at 79 bucks, as well as a pair of $50 active noise canceling headphones from Wise. And so it's kind of crazy what you can get for under 100 bucks these days. And so it kind of makes me wonder what Apple is thinking coming out with some headphones that are 549 bucks. But that's for another review. This time, we're gonna take a look at these headphones and see how they stack up. So the first thing about these is they actually come with a nice hard case, not this weird thing that the Apple one comes with and they fold to fit within that case. So I like that these come in this nice gray color and not the average black that you see on most headphones. And so I think it looks nice personally and the plastic looks and feels nice. You won't find any obnoxious logos except this tiny one here on the headband. And as far as look and feel, it's about as close as you can get to these Sony's weight, the look, the styling, everything about it. The lines are soft yet angular enough and the use of leather here on the touch sensitive cups is, well, a nice touch. <laughs> you can swipe to control the volume one step at a time, or you can swipe up to the middle and hold it, and that will change the volume continuously. You can also swipe back and forward to skip tracks, double tap to play and pause, and press and hold to bring up your assistant. Also, this does have the functionality to put your hand to the side in order to enter that transparency mode, and we'll get into that in just a bit. This also has dedicated buttons for ANC, the power, and Bluetooth pairing. As far as features, these do use Bluetooth 5.0, and they have low latency, and they also allow you to pair to two devices at one time. Now that comes in handy if you have this connected to, let's say, uh, iPad, and then your phone. You can listen to music on the iPad while still accepting a call via your phone. This does use the Aptex HD codec, which is a slightly higher quality. It charges via USB-C, which gives you 40 hours of playback time. These do have active noise canceling with the ambient mode, but in my experience, these still are not as strong as the Sony's, but let's be honest, really no other product that I've tested has been as good, with a close second being those AirPods Pro, but we'll have to see what happens with those AirPods Max. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. All right, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. So although this does not have better active noise canceling than the Sony's, it does have better sound quality. And so that was a huge surprise. I put these on, played some music, and I was just amazed at how well tuned they are. And so I know that those guys over there did a great job of taking their time to tune this properly. And so that's rare in this price range. You know, some of the higher end headphones that I've reviewed, they should be tuned properly. Those Focal Stellias, $3,000, they better be tuned properly. And so this is approaching that audiophile grade sound. So right out of the box, without an app, these are tuned to the Harman curve, which a lot of people prefer. So if that's something you like, you'll probably like these headphones. The other cool thing about that is that it's not reliant on an app or DSP, so even if you plug this in directly with a wire, it's still tuned to that Harman curve. So check out the quick sound demo and let me know what you guys think. Multiplying, I've been trying to get my weight up. 
staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask me, cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be And live my life off screen Now, a few of the cons, I would say that the buttons on here are kind of mushy. It doesn't have NFC that allows me to tap an Android device and have it pair without having to go into the Bluetooth setting. There's no app for firmware updates and ways to tune this using their dedicated app. Although you can use an app such as Wavelet to allow you to use a graphic equalizer. The other thing about this is although the ear pads are soft, I feel like this is still not quite as soft as the foam on the Sony's. So only time will tell, we'll have to wait and see. So the last thing is call quality. I thought the call quality was actually much better than what I expected from these headphones and much better than the Sony's, except for the noise canceling on that wasn't quite as strong as something, let's say, on those AirPods Pro, which do an excellent job of rejecting outside noises. Okay. All right, so right now I am testing the noise rejection on these. So you should hear my kids in the background. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah, so let me know if you can hear them. What are you Hello. guys doing? Hello. Yeah. So, how does my voice come through? And how does it reject my kids in the background? So just for fun, this is a quick test of the Sony WH-1000XM3s. And so these are significantly more expensive, but they are also known for not having great call quality. So you guys let me know, how does this sound in comparison? So recently you guys asked me to make a headphone leaderboard and so I did. So let's see where these place. All right, so here we are at the headphone leaderboard. And so these fit in a few categories. First of all, wireless headphones, best overall sound quality, build and features. So just kind of the overall package. And I would have to put these at $79. They are very, they're superior in sound quality. So if you care more about that, then go ahead and put them above the Sony's. But because of the active noise canceling and overall, I think a lot of people like that functionality, the Sony still win in that category. So this is neck and neck. I mean, these are 300 bucks if they're on sale, but man, these are crazy for the price. Next is best under $100. Sound quality, so best sound quality, just straight up sound quality. I'm gonna put these on top over the M40Xs. And that's pretty amazing because these are tuned well. And last but not least, best overall sound quality with the default EQ. So right out of the box, I would say that these are close to, let's say the PSB M4U-8s. These have something called room feel. And they're actually tuned very similarly to the Harman Curve. I feel like they might have a slight advantage. You know, it's really tough. I mean, these are close. These are significantly more expensive, but somewhere around there, I think is safe. So there you have it. I would highly recommend these to anyone looking for headphones under a hundred bucks. I would say these are excellent, especially if sound quality is your top priority. I mean, I don't know how these guys do it. These might be my new headphones for editing videos and yeah, it just might be my go-to. We'll have to wait and see how they work for long listening sessions. I'm gonna have to just try to figure that out. But overall, I like these a lot. So there you have it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And please check out my Patreon page. It helps support what I'm doing here. And it'll allow me to do more types of videos like this in better quality and more quantity. So make sure to check it out, patreon.com forward slash Joe Anyway, that's it. Take care, bye-bye.